What is going on everybody? It's me Tamara Aziz and today we're going to be talking about a TFSA. The TFSA is a registered account, not an investment itself. Any Canadian over the age of 18 with a social insurance number can get the TFSA. The money that has already been taxed goes into your tax-free savings account. From here, you can put it into any types of investments as you want. For example, if you start off with $5,000 in your TFSA and then you grow it to like 50,000, you do not have to pay taxes whatsoever. Every single year, the CRA makes up a contribution limit and it basically gets accumulated over the years. This table over here shows you the limits that we've had in the past. And using this, you can calculate the total maximum that you can personally put into your TFSA. Say you were born in 1998. This means that in 2016, you turned 18 years old. Over here where it says 2016, the TFSA dollar limit was 5,500 and it was the exact same for the next three years. You would add up these together as well as the 2,000 2019 and 2020 contribution limits in total you can contribute up to twenty eight thousand five hundred dollars into your tax-free savings account what this also means is that if you turned 18 any time before 2009 you can contribute the full sixty nine thousand five hundred dollars and this is why i love the tfsa so much because there is so much potential for you to exponentially increase your money if you've already been making contributions don't worry you can see how much you have left through your my cra account which i will link in the description down below just to save you guys a couple of google searches the reason you want to check how much contribution room you have left is because if you go over the cra is gonna then catch you and then charge you one percent per month on the extra money that you put in there are absolutely no penalties when it comes down to withdrawing your money out of your tfsa whatever you end up withdrawing from your tfsa you will not be able to recontribute it back until the next year. Contributions are always reset. Let's take two scenarios to kind of illustrate this. First scenario is that you've already maxed out your TFSA, but you decide that you want to take out $1,000. You will not be able to put anything back into your TFSA until next year, which is going to be that $1,000 plus whatever the new limit that they're going to announce is. Another example is that if you have $10,000 of contribution room left and still withdrew that same $1,000, this doesn't mean that for the same year you could contribute $11,000. It means it's still the same 10,000 and you have to wait until next year to put that 1,000 back in. When it comes down to the TFSA, you can put any type of investment you want. GICs, bonds, stocks, you name it, it can go into the TFSA. If you plan to have US-based companies within your TFSA, keep in mind that the contribution limits are based and calculated off of Canadian dollar. If you have a $30,000 limit to put into your TFSA, this doesn't mean that you could put $30,000 US. This means $30,000 Canadian. So basically, whenever you're buying your US-based securities you have to factor in the conversion fees and before i get into the disadvantages of having a tfsa you can transfer tfsas and do it through a financial institution if you don't and then you do the withdrawals and the deposits yourself you're going to be risking contribution room being lost and having to wait until the next year there are just a few disadvantages that come along with having one the first disadvantage is that if you end up losing money on an investment and you decide to withdraw whatever else you have remaining it's only that that's going to be calculated back into the contribution room for example you lost five thousand dollars and it turned into five hundred dollars in your tfsa you get so emotional and you withdraw that 500 by next year you will only get five hundred dollars added on to your next contribution limit not the full five thousand the other two disadvantages of having a tfsa is that number one you cannot open any margin accounts and number two you cannot day trade in a tfsa that's pretty much all there is when it comes down to a tax-free savings account if i left anything out or if you have any questions let me know in the comment section down below and i'll get to you guys asap but for now thank you guys for watching this is tamara aziz signing out peace